I'm Ginger. I'm a librarian at the Ladysmith branch of the Vancouver Island Regional Library System. And I am very happy to be bringing you another episode of our Rural Recommend series. Um, today I'm going to share some of my favorite nonfiction audiobooks. Um, and all five of these titles have been um, re read by the author of the book, which I think really brings a lot um, to the audiobook experience. Um, these books are av all available. I borrowed them all on my phone um, through our Libby app in our Overdrive collection. They're all, so they're all available as e-audiobooks. Um, some of them are available as CD audiobooks. Um, and they're all available as print books in our library system or um, some of them um, are ebooks also. So um, let's get started with my first recommendation. This book is called Shrill. Um, it's uh, subtitle is uh, Notes from a Loud Woman. It was written by Lindy West in 2016. Um, West is a witty and humorous writer. This is her first book um, and um, she tackles lots of different topics from pop culture to social justice to um, body image and self-esteem and self-love. Um, Shrill is a series of essays um, in which West shares some of her experiences um, during her 20s. Um, experiences that range from you know, how she found her voice as a writer and as a feminist, um, how um, she dealt with her weight and body image, um, how she um, dealt with having an abortion, um, and also she covers the emotional toil of being harassed online. Um, she received quite a bit of um, fame um, from a piece she did on uh, the podcast This American Life about being trolled on the internet. Um, this, this series of essays has also been adapted into a TV show, which you may have heard about. It's the same name, Shrill, and um, I would also recommend the TV show. Um, the, her, uh, West's writing is entertaining and funny. I find it relatable. Um, and she talks openly about embarrassing subjects and about self-esteem. Really enjoyed uh, Shrill by Lindy West. The next book I'd like to recommend is called Wow, No Thank You. It's written by Samantha Irby in 2020. And um, Samantha Irby is a comedian. Um, she has a droll sense of humor, um, unflinching realness, and impeccable timing. So you definitely want to listen to her read um, her book out loud. Uh, she has, uh, the essays in this book range from serious topics to mundane topics. Um, and she blends um, outrageous humor with um, sort of heartfelt emotion. Um, the book could easily have you laughing or crying, um, and maybe both. Um, some of the topics that um, Samantha talks about in this book are um, the messy realities of living in a body, um, uh, her experience being a black queer women, woman in a small town in Michigan, um, step parenting, and her general distaste for socializing. She has a frank and friendly voice, which really draws listeners in. Um, I highly recommend listening to Wow, No Thank You by Samantha Irby. The next book I'd like to recommend is called Talking to Strangers, What We Should Know About People We Don't Know. It was written by Malcolm Gladwell in 2019. Um, and you've probably heard of Malcolm Gladwell before. He's a Canadian, he lives in the States now, but um, he has a really successful podcast called uh, Revisionist History, uh, which I highly recommend, and has also written a, many other um, best-selling uh, nonfiction books. Um, he, in this book, he um, examines our interactions with strangers and why things often go wrong in those interactions. Um, and, he, and he's saying that our tools and our strategies for making sense of people we don't know are off and that we, as a society, we need to work on them. It's a really interesting, timely subject. Um, and it should be of no surprise to anyone who has listened to Revisionist History that um, 
Malcolm Gladwell is excellent at narrating this audiobook and he's also really experimental. He draws on some of the, um, the things he does in his podcasts um, and brings them into the audiobook world. Uh, he includes audio footage of interviews with people. He um, um, hires voice actors to do a reenactment of court transcripts and he actually um, includes the audio footage of um, of the 2015 arrest of Sandra Bland in Texas that led to um, her death. Um, so it's a really timely um, topic and um, really thought-provoking. Anybody who's interested in sociology um, and um, cultural studies Anyone who's interested in history will really enjoy Talking to Strangers by Malcolm Gladwell. The next book I'd like to recommend is called This Is Your Mind on Plants. Um, it was written by Michael Pollan just last year in 2021. Um, and in this book, um, Pollan um, examines three different plant-based drugs, opium, caffeine, and mescaline. Um, and there are some outrageous attitudes and laws surrounding um, these drugs. Um, I was surprised to hear that the um, poppies that I grow in my garden would be considered illegal um, if I was living in the States. Um, and uh, I also really enjoyed uh, Poland writing about caffeine um, and how our attitude towards caffeine is really uh, that it's that's not not uh, a mind-altering drug, even though it is. Um, as a culture, we tend to accept that um, our minds on caffeine is a normal state. Um, and Pollen um, narrates his experience with um, trying, to, trying to quit caffeine, which I have tried and it is very difficult. Um, in the and the last drug that um, he talks about is masculine, and that's a really interesting um, topic. And, and the way he approaches this um, topic of masculine is also interesting. He looks at it from um, a viewpoint of cultural appropriation and how important masculine is to indigenous cult cultures in the states, and how um, the cactus that uh, you make masculine from. The peyote cactus is becoming more and more rare in the states, and um, and, and talks about that a little bit. Um, so anybody who's interested in ethnobotany or mind-altering substances will really enjoy listening to Poland uh, read his words. Um, in this is your mind on plants. Okay, so the last book that I'd like to share with you today is a very popular book. Um, it was one of the most borrowed e-audiobooks in our library system for 2021. Um, this book is called Braiding Sweet Sweetgrass, Indigenous Wisdom, Scientific Knowledge, and the Teaching of Plants. Uh, it was written by Robin Waller Kimmermer in 2016. Kimmermer is a mother, she's a scientist, a professor, and a member of the Potawatomi um, Nation in, in the United States. She brings together uh, memoirs uh, and history and science in, the, in this book. Um, and she examines some of the plants that are in her environment. Um, she looks at pecans, sweetgrass, lichens, and um, the very famous Three Sisters combination of plants, corn, beans, and squash. She shares moments of her past, um, little bits of her life as they, um, as, as she has had many interactions with, with plants in her life. Everything from boiling down maple sap to make syrup with her daughters, um, her efforts to reclaim her culture um, through studying language and weaving baskets, and um, her experience as a botany teacher, working with students um, to uh, protect and restore plants, animals, and the land. I highly recommend this book. Anyone who enjoys learning about indigenous culture, botany, or protecting nature will absolutely enjoy listening to Robin Waller Kimmermer read her book, Braiding Sweetgrass. 
So thank you very much for listening to my recommend recommendations today. I hope that you find something that will interest you. And if you're not a regular audiobook listener, I, I highly recommend trying nonfiction um, with audiobooks, especially if the author reads the book in the audiobook. It's, um, it's a great, great experience and um, happy listening. Bye.